I'm actually kind of embarrassed of what went down when I was in high school. This video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos that I've put out on the channel. I want to share my personal story, what my high school years were like, and eventually how that led me to where I am today as a, you know, I work now as a project manager for a tech company. I develop apps also on the side. And this is a story that I haven't told ever publicly, mainly because I'm very embarrassed of what happened to me in high school. The other day I was cleaning out my house and I found a couple of documents from from when I was in 10th grade that was back in 2004 2005 and one of these documents was my my school transcripts from that year and the reason why I haven't told this story ever to anyone is because I actually failed 10th grade so 10th grade was very wild I liked having a lot of fun I wasn't so academic in those days I thought school was very, fairly boring to me I used to cut class fairly often, you know, I would go to the beach, go surfing, go play golf, go play tennis. Um, I just wasn't so much into school at all. And I wasn't into especially the courses that I didn't like. Spanish or English or these random, you know, courses that it's all about reading and writing. And I, I never liked it, any of that stuff. And I didn't do well. Those courses had a requirement, which was probably the main grade that you would get for the course where you have to make a portfolio with a bunch of essays and you probably had to put in like one essay a week, you know, over the, over the, the year. And then at the end of the year, you turn that in. And so I remember like literally like a couple of days before the end of the year, I was trying to write something like 50 essays, you know, and like in like three days, which was crazy. And like, we didn't have chat GPT in those days, but like ha have we had chat GPT, you know, that would have been, I would have been fine. But, um, Long story short, you know, I failed. I failed 10th grade. And my school had a policy that if you got below a C in two courses, that was it. You would have to leave the school. You were, you were fired from the school. And so I had these two courses, English and Spanish. I, I didn't do all the homework. And I didn't turn in all my essays and whatnot. And I remember one teacher, specifically a Spanish teacher, she was so mean to me. And she failed me by like one or two points and which I thought was, you know, BS. Like how can you failed my, my grade? Like you're, everyone's gonna make fun of me now. Like because of you, like you failed me for one point. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. What the hell man? Why'd you do that? Uh... And so like, that was really a turning point in my life. And, and the other day I was going over those transcripts again. I was looking at them and I realized something crazy that the course that I did the best in that year was computer science. But again, this was in 2000, back in 2004. And in those days, computer science was thought of a hobby, basically. Maybe some people could get a computer science degree and like end up working at Microsoft, but it, it wasn't seen as the discipline that, that it is today. It, that people didn't take computer science as seriously as, as they take it today. Like I remember when I was in high school, we had computer science class, at, you know, we were coding in C++. Like I was good at that stuff. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. Like it was really the only class where I felt like I could, like I felt like I was playing and not like working hard and not enjoying it. Like other classes like English or Spanish or even science. It was computer science to me really felt like something I could do like all day. Um, but unfortunately for me, in those days, computer science was seen as an elective, as a hobby, as something not to be taken seriously. I mean, they gave it half a credit weight compared to physical education and all the other courses. Okay, I'm not even counting physical education. That was the highest grade that I got that year. I'm not even counting that because I don't think that running around in shorts and sneakers should count as a real class. That's not a class. And my transcripts clearly say that they value computer science less than running around in sneakers and getting all sweaty. I think that's crazy. Like that, that's the, and then on top of that, they failed me the 10th grade and nobody real, nobody saw the potential. Nobody, no one in the administration, no, not the direct, not the principal, not the discipline coordinator, not any of my teachers, not even the computer science teacher was able to advise me to tell me, you know what? Actually, you're really good at computer science. Maybe you should pursue a career in that. Instead, what they did was make me feel like I was the worst failure ever. Everyone in the school made fun of me. I was the only kid who failed the, class, the grade, any grade in that year. 
all the other children in the school were looking at me and pointing fingers at me and laughing at me. And no one had the insight, not a principal who's getting paid to advise students to do good things in life. He didn't have the insight to tell me, oh, look, you're really good at computer science. Why don't you, maybe you should just do something around that and eventually you get a degree in that. No, instead, what did I do? I had to make up to 10th grade. I, I got a GED. And for those of you who are not in America, GED just like, it's basically like homeschooling and you are able to just take a test and that basically gives you a high school diploma that's what i did i went from failing 10th grade you know getting my gd getting my sats and having a good enough of a score to get into pre-med and so that's what i went into i went into biology um and actually kind of enjoyed it you know i got i got fairly good grades in biology and, and math and physics chemistry not so much but organic chemistry not so much anatomy oddly not so much i kind of hated anatomy and so I even worked at a biology research lab, medical lab. Um, we did some cool stuff over there. Um, and it was overall a great experience. But eventually, you know, I was sitting in the lab one day and like doing running experiments. Like something just hit me like, I don't, I don't want to be here. Like, I don't enjoy this kind of work. I don't want to be some kind of lab technician for the rest of my life. I don't even want to go into a PhD. Because really, when you're in biology, you only have two routes. You can either be a doctor, like a medical doctor, or you can go be a research doctor, you know, a PhD. And it's basically your whole life is just writing grants and writing papers and writing grants and writing papers. And it doesn't end. Like, I don't want that for my life. Like, I don't even enjoy it. And so, eventually I left. And I just took my hobby, which was filmmaking in those days. And I just started doing that freelance and i did that for a long time like 12 years and eventually i learned to code and then eventually i almost did full circle you know from 2004 all the way to like 2020 so it took me almost you know 16 years full circle and now finally i'm back in computer science working as a project manager in a, in a tech company developing apps i can i'm still learning i'm taking more courses and so i don't understand why i had to do a whole detour for 16 years just because the administration in my high school was they were their ego was so big and they were so full of of pride and they were so full of just emptiness and they just wanted to make fun of me and they just wanted to criticize me and they just wanted to tell me what a loser I was and how little opportunity I was gonna have now because I you know it was supposed to be a really good school and now I failed and now I have no other options had they just told me, oh, why don't you go into computer science? You know, I would have pursued that in college. I would have saved me 16 years of my life.